So going <laughs> from this conversation about the Parkland school shooter, let's go to some of the people that were affected by the Parkland school shooting. Uh -huh. David Hogg is one of the students that has been prominent in the face of the media talking about what happened while he was there. He actually yeah. produced a video of content behind the scenes while he was inside with the active shooter. Well, mm -hmm. he's 17. He's applying for colleges. He's about to make that next step into life. And he came out and told everyone, hey, guys, there were four colleges that I applied to and I wasn't accepted to them. Mm -hmm. Daily Wire, I believe it is, or there is a very right wing news publication that put together an article slamming him for mm -hmm. not getting into these four universities. Mm -hmm. And then Laura Ingram, we know her. She's a Fox News anchor. She was the one that railed against LeBron James and mm -hmm. Dwayne Wade, right. saying that they shouldn't they should just shut up and dribble. Yeah. She's known for giving her really right wing Trump supporting comments. Well, she also railed against David Hogg saying that, hey, why are you out here whining and complaining that you didn't get into these four schools? Mm -hmm. And David Hogg spoke back, guys. Mm -hmm. He went say? on to Twitter saying that he shouldn't be bullied by a grown woman, number one, but then used his following on Twitter to start a boycott mm -hmm. her advertisers mm -hmm. hashtag. And so then he created this entire list of companies that he said people should boycott because they were going to put ads on mm -hmm. Laura's show. And there they are, you know, the Sleep Number Bed, AT&T, some of these other ones. And these are big these are big brands they're huge companies and four of them were even willing to take their advertising down mm -hmm. so that tells you the power of not only david hogg but social media and spreading the word and this happened pretty quickly i think from her to comments <laughs> to his response to the list to wayfair this, dropped out hulu dropped out i mean pretty quickly within this was the wednesday. day yeah within the day it's pretty remarkable how fast whether you agree with this mm -hmm. or not you have to admit that that this method is pretty fast and pretty effective, very effective. for mm -hmm. for the person that's putting that out there because it puts pressure on these brands immediately to, to yep. do something about it. This happened with the NRA. Absolutely. I mean, literally within a day, you know, huge brands were dropping out and stopped offering discounts and things like that. Again, whether you agree or not, this is a nonviolent, effective way of, um, of reducing support for people that Absolutely. you don't support. And for as quickly as it all rolled out on social media, it took Laura Ingram a full day mm -hmm. to put out her response. And mm -hmm. she did eventually apologize, but people aren't believing the, the heartfelt of say, that apology. I think she apology. wanted to or she had to in order I think to save the her big career. bosses at Fox News said, um, our big advertisers are saying they're going to drop out. Mm -hmm. You need to do something about this. So mm -hmm. she went on Twitter and she issued her apology saying essentially that she was one of the first people to have David Hogg on after the shootings in Parkland and mm -hmm. that she would invite him on to the show again mm -hmm. to have a conversation with her that is productive. Mm -hmm. So you guys can see that there. She said, for the record, I believe my show was the first to feature, feature David. Yeah, any student should be proud of a 4.2 GPA. Mm -hmm. On reflection, in the spirit of Holy Week, I apologize for any upset or hurt my tweet caused him or any of the brave victims of Parkland. For the record, I believe my show was the first to feature, and she goes on to talk I about can't. David Hogg. In the spirit of Holy yeah. Week? Come on. Laura I, I Ingram, I'm not here for <laughs> you or that. Like, I don't, don't know. bring God into can that. I, can I bring something up? That was ugly. Can I bring something up? Sure. Um, you, have a, you have a definite point there, but... This is me just stepping back and just evaluating this whole okay. thing. And so we talk about the power, right, mm -hmm. that adults have always, mm -hmm. in a lot of cases, had over, over kids, mm -hmm. the young generation. And now the power that is in this young generation over adults, mm -hmm. really, right now. And what's interesting is that these young people, this mm -hmm. generation, wants to be treated like adults. We are going to change the laws, we are going to vote, we're going to do, because they are adults, a lot of them, some of them younger than 18. Mm -hmm. But then when a situation comes, it's almost like they're pulling the young card and saying, don't bully me, I'm, I'm just a teenager. But right. shoot, this that, isn't even that he's that, a teenager. He's, he's she saying, is bullying, period. No, and I get that, and okay. I agree with it. But I'm just saying mm -hmm. that adults, well, I mean, talk, let's talk about the, the, the relationship that America has with Trump right now okay. and the constant mm -hmm. back and forth that's being happened mm -hmm. seems to be that's the way adults are playing not to say it's right but that's the way adults are playing right but mm -hmm. to use your age now and say go fight someone your own age it's mm -hmm. sort of like that's not the argument to make it's mm -hmm. just don't fight anyone at all yeah I just had a problem for a second when the young card was pulled mm -hmm. because it was 
I, I will give you that. We're touting. Right. right. But this is a grown behind woman. And these who are young people. decided right. to use her massive platform. Which he has right now, to, too. To he rail a against platform. a child mm -hmm. who is getting a higher education, is disappointed because he wants a higher education at a certain university. Mm -hmm. Can we just ignore that? No, I'm that? not here for bullying at all. I put that on I my just, Instagram yesterday. I'm not into bullying. Don't do it at mm -hmm. all. Applaud him for the great things that he's doing. Yeah, Applaud easy. him for the... The strides he's making after going through such a tough situation, mm -hmm. it doesn't it doesn't seem like the necessary thing to do. If you want to talk about 15 abuses. minutes of fame, yeah. if you want to talk about doing something for the likes, for the mm -hmm. retweets, that is her entire career. Yep. Sure. It's doing things for the likes and the retweets. I mean, I don't want to go on the record and say that. As a journalist just, to a journalist, like I right. hope that you would be better than that and, can, and not do that. I would never come after. Right. A young generation like that or even other people and bringing trying to bring them down especially when it comes to school yes pick on someone your own age i understand that i just wanted to bring up that point though I, if he if he has a 4.2 i mean that's pretty it's pretty <laughs> that's good tough student. to get into schools and wasn't it wasn't it california schools yes cal yeah. states or ucs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very right. tough it's but he got into cal poly schools he did get into uh, good schools mm -hmm. to ucs the, I mean, ucs are very impacted there's very way impacted. more people applying mm -hmm well-qualified, smart kids, and there just isn't a spot for them. Or maybe he uh, wants to apply to a certain major, and that major is full. Mm -hmm. and, or and maybe there's he's... open spots in geology, but geology is not his thing. You know what I mean? Like, right. there's, there's a bunch of different reasons right. to be rejected from a school. And that also, if you get rejected from a university, that doesn't, it doesn't define you or invalidate your opinion or, or yeah, anything like that. that. Yeah. I mean, that's, that, you always got to look for the thread. What's really going on here? This, this can be a method to just invalidate him. Mm. You know that he he's he's to a whiner try. or he's too immature yeah. or whatever via this revelation uh, that he didn't get into school. I mean, you've got to elevate the conversation. Maybe she's realizing that now because or he has a strong point of view kids. and a lot of followers, oh, yeah. and so does she. She's got millions of followers. Mm. She's been in media forever. Yeah, very successful radio host. Now moving into TV, so mm -hmm. she's got something to say. It, they need to have this conversation on camera and get it done because do they? Yeah, because if no, nah, I don't know. Because if that, I'm David Hogg, I'm saying, you know what? I'm done. I'm bigger than this. I'm better than this. I'm not going to give her the ratings that she desperately wants for her show because I'm going to be on there. The, that he, there's a point there. There is, but there was also a point where if he wants to be treated like an adult and be the be the face of mm -hmm. this movement. And she's primarily against that, or or at least angles of it. Then yeah. you have those debates with those, even if you disagree. It makes for good conversation. I yeah. would say great. It'd be great for for him just as much as it would be great for her. I right. haven't really thought about that yet, but I will say, I'm kind of surprised. Okay. That he didn't get into these universities, given the platform that he has right now and the popularity and the fact that he has been able to hold his own. Oh, is it already that time? It's about that time. But he's been able to hold his own <laughs> in a time where he is on an international platform. Uh Hey, at a college level, it's not just about the grade. Mm -hmm. It's how you can handle yourself in this grand scheme of things as an mm -hmm. adult. So the fact that you didn't get in, that is how tough it is Hello. for the average student to get into college <laughs> these days. Impacted, maybe trade schools are a good idea. Oh, right, actually, valid. Valid.